Live from the studios of Penn Trafford High School, this is Wake Up Warriors with Julianne Bean and David Carver. We'll tell you who's on the 2018 prom court and a new student spotlight. Wake Up Warriors starts now. Good morning, Penn Trafford, and welcome to Wake Up Warriors. Today is Thursday, April 19th. I'm Julianne. And I'm David. Hey, Julianne. So I heard it's your birthday today. Yep. Well, a big happy birthday to Julianne. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Promise that we do weeks away. <laughs> With that in mind, here are your nominees for the 2018 Prom Court. Boys, Ray Breen, Zach Sinkar, John Gay, Sean Kelly, Cam LaFood, Jake Prady. Girls, Kenzie Angst. Madeline Blanford, Livy Haberberger, Kenji Schropp, Brady Tremuda, and Nicole Voigt. Congratulations. Congrats to the 2018 Prom Court. Prom tickets will be on sale now to Friday, April 27th during all lunches. Tickets will be $125 per couple or $62.50 per person. Outside guest forms are available in the main office or in room 129. Now for information on seating arrangements, let's get another lesson from Mr. Moses. Welcome everybody. This is Prom 101 again. Today's lesson is a reserve seating at Stratagos. You must reserve your seating for Stratagos. No matter if you have two couples or six couples, the form will be available during ticket sales. The maximum per table is 12 people, so please figure out who you plan to sit with for dinner. You may have groups smaller than 12, but your group will be combined with other groups. Please only one reservation form per group. Make sure to speak to all people involved in your party. Every year I have, a cup, I have couples written on two or three forms because they're real popular. This makes everything more difficult, so speak to each other to make sure everyone agrees with the seating arrangements. If you have any questions, see Mr. Moses, that's me, in room 129, and thank you for watching. On April 23rd, Ms. Martini's LLA study hall needs to move to the auditorium. Mrs. Marinsolins, Mrs. Bukies, and Mrs. Smith's LLA study hall needs to move to the audion. Mrs. Spada's LLA, LLA study hall needs to move to, one, to room 149. Mrs. Wilby's LLA study hall needs to move to room 230. Our school is chock full of talented students. Josh Capasco, a senior, was awarded with the title of Eagle Scout. Then he was honored with the prestigious award of Eagle Scout of Pennsylvania. Roy Bowler talked to him and about the work he put into it and what being a Boy Scout means to him. Josh is a nationally recognized Eagle Scout, so I sat down to talk to him about what that means. I won the uh, Eagle Scout of the Year for uh, Pennsylvania through the American Legion. Um, it means that I get to go to uh, their conference in July and uh, talk to them about like what it means to be an Eagle Scout and uh, what I'm thankful for for how scouting has impacted my life. It's a lot of work. Uh, you got to lead people to build a project and the project I picked, Goggle Ball Pit in St. Barbara's Church um, in Harrison City. In the back of the church there's a grassy spot that I built it in. Um, it's uh, 64 foot in diameter and uh, perimeter and uh, 20 foot diameter. Um, I had multiple people, about like 15 help total on the project and it was about like 400 hours. I went to uh, Puerto Rico to help rebuild their camp, Guajataca, down there. It's their uh, summer camp. It was kind of destroyed in Hurricane Marina. Um, there's buildings like that are partially destroyed, uh, brush everywhere, and we helped clean up their camp and make it usable this summer. Uh, scouting means a lot to me. I've been doing it since I was like six, since like first grade. Um, so it's been a long long ride and I'm not gonna stop when I'm 18. Because I got the Eagle Scout of the Year for Pennsylvania, I'm getting put into uh, the national running for Eagle Scout of the Year for national. And if I win that, I, I get to go to their national conference and speak there. This has been Rory reporting for BTTV. Attention sophomores, juniors, and seniors. If you are interested in joining the new Science National Honor Society, join the informational Google Classroom to find the application and requirements. Applications are due April 27th. Here's Mrs. Ramaswamy with some more information on what Science NHS is. Okay, so Science National Honor Society is very similar to National Honor Society, except it's science specific. So it 
is to encourage students to get involved with the scientific community to come and listen to chemists and physicists and engineers speak and just get involved with them and you can sign up by going to the Google Classroom. So there are pink posters hanging around the school and you can go into the informational Google Classroom and you can sign up there. And then if you have any questions, you can email me or you can email Aiden Hetler. He's a senior. This is actually his senior project. And so you can email either of us with questions and we will try to answer your questions the best that we can. That's perfect. Okay, cool. Yesterday, a nurse practitioner came into the media center to talk about her career. After working in the medical field for over 25 years and working in multiple locations, she had good, good advice for seniors looking, in, looking to go into the medical field. She talked about the different types of nursing degrees you can get in and what it is possible to earn in different areas of, stud, of study in different regions of Pennsylvania. Ashton Wagner, who attended the event, said it helped him figure out what it wants to do in the future and make a more informed decision about college next year. Here's the yearbook staff and video club are putting together the 2018 senior slideshow to be aired on yearbook distribution day. We need photos of you and your friends from your elementary, middle school, and high school years. Please help by submitting your photos by emailing them to pthsyearbook at pentrafford.org. Please choose photos that are school appropriate and feature small or large groups of seniors. We will not use individual photos. The deadline to submit photos is next Friday. Student Union elections for the 2018-2019 school year are coming up. Student Union is a great way to get involved and help with the homecoming, community movie night, and other activities throughout the school year. If you are interested in running for a position, you must have at least a 3.0 GPA and be able to attend weekly meetings. Please pick up a form in Ms. Martini's room, 141, or stop down to see her if you have any questions. Completed application forms are due no later than Friday, April 27th. Voting will take place via Google Forms on Monday, April 30th. The PT Credit Union is now accepting applications for employment. Consider an opportunity to become fully teletrained, have a summer job, and work at our PT Credit Union branch in the fall. For more information, please contact Mrs. Corner in room 204 for the application. The weather has come back down to cooler temperatures. Let's go to Zach Conley with more information. It is currently 37 degrees outside with a frozen mix. The high for today will be 46 degrees and the low will be 30. It will be cloudy with a widespread snow and rain showers this morning and scattered snow showers this afternoon. When we get out of school, it will be 37 and mostly cloudy. Tonight, it will be mostly cloudy with isolated snow showers. Have a good January 93rd PT considering it's snow winter. Enough is enough. Let's go back to the desk. If you are still interested in signing up for the game show, please see Ms. S in room 206 as soon as possible. Remember, there are $400 of Amazon gift cards. There are also $50 bucks in Chipotle, $300 in Chick-fil-A, and $20 in Dunkin', in Dunkin' gift cards up for grabs. The game show will only last an hour and a half. We don't want you to miss out. On May 16th from 6 to 7 p.m. here at Penn Trafford, Sierra Rudick will be hosting an event on the dangers of rape and sexual assault. She'll be giving very important information on what to do if it happens and where it happens as well as telling her own personal story. The event is free and the form to sign up has been sent to all grades. Teachers are also welcome to attend. You can invite friends and family to attend as well. All forms must be submitted by Friday. Thank you for watching Wake Up Warriors. Please stand for the Pledge of the Flag. I'm Julianne. And I'm David. Have a great day, Penn Trafford.